anything. I just had a debate with somebody, you know, sort of a Twitter debate, with somebody who was calling President Trump uh, you know, a moron, especially because of climate change. And I said to him, did you think it was a bad idea that he pulled out of an agreement that all the experts say wouldn't help? It would just cost money. So, um, and do I have something on my nose or is that just a shadow? I'm just a shadow. Uh, so, so I asked this Twitter fellow, I said, do you agree that he pulled out of an agreement that was useless and would cost a lot of money? And then he just sort of starts equivocating, oh, well, you know, he should have stayed in and fought for a better agreement. To which I said, how do you think negotiating works? The way President Trump thinks it works. Oh, by the way, the person who wrote the fucking book on it, literally, on negotiating, and has told us how it works, always the same. When you don't get the deal you want, you walk away from the table. Then you say, we're not done negotiating, but I'm certainly not at the table anymore, so you gotta, you got to do better. you got to do something better. Or, or I stay away, because staying away might be the right answer, right? But certainly you don't go to the table and make a bad agreement and say, well, I guess I did my job today. You don't do that. So here's the most famous negotiator in the world using the most famous negotiating tactic in the world, telling us the tactic. I walked away from the table, but I'm happy to keep negotiating to get a better deal. He said it on television, right? There's no, nothing's being hidden here. He said, I walk away from the table. It's part of the deal. This was a bad deal. I walked away from the table. I'm still negotiating. If we get a good deal, I'm in. All right. How do you find something wrong with that? Because there's not anybody left who thinks that was a good deal. And by the way, <laughs> let's talk about this hoax stuff. People keep sending me, you know, President Trump's old, I, I don't know what year it was, several years ago, um, tweet about uh, climate, climate change being a Chinese hoax. Well, now that you know what's actually in the Paris Climate Agreement, and now that you know that even the experts and the alarmists say that agreement would have done essentially nothing and would have cost a lot of money, now that you know that, does it still sound like a hoax? Sounds like hoax to me. All right. Now, that's somewhat independent from whether the earth is warming and what's causing it and, and all this stuff. But you can't say it's not a hoax anymore. All right. Every fucking asshole who gave it, you got in my face for the last two years telling me, you're President Trump, the guy you say you're so smart, he must be an idiot because he thought that climate change was a hoax. Until we read the fucking agreement and found out it was a fucking hoax, or at least, you know, you could argue, oh, you, know, you could wordplay this and say, well, no, it was an agreement that was not optimized for the United States. No, it was a fucking hoax. Every one of us was fooled. I was fooled. Honestly, I thought that agreement was probably useful. I, I didn't know any better. Did you? I didn't know any better. I was hoaxed, personally, right? How many of you thought that agreement probably would have made a difference? No matter what you thought about climate science, how many of you thought that agreement probably made some kind of difference? Right. And if you thought that, weren't you hoaxed? Yeah, there, there are a few people who probably read the details and knew it didn't make a difference. But if you believe that that agreement was good, you have been hoaxed. There's just no fucking way around that. There's no way around that. And by the way, this is independent of whether the earth is warming and what caused it and what damage it will cause. Those are good and important questions. But if this was a hoax, okay, let's, let's just nail that down. So let, now let's take inventory of all the fucking things that people said the president was going to get wrong. All right? There was the economy that was going to crash. People were selling their stocks because this economy is going to go to hell as soon as this madman gets in. Didn't happen. Stocks went up. Consumer confidence went up. Yeah, didn't happen. And then there's the climate change. It's going to kill us all. We've got to spend trillions of dollars. Turns out it was a hoax. Not the science. Science might be a hoax. We don't know about that yet, right? 
I'm just talking about the agreement. So the, the political way that people dealt with it, absolutely it was a hoax. And if you say that China was behind it, well, you could make an argument that, you know, they were at least, at least they were happy about it, right? It was an agreement where they didn't have to spend any money and we did. I'm pretty sure they were happy about it. So, yeah, and they may have had some, you know, an unusually large uh, influence on getting that done. I don't know, but certainly it wasn't, unra it was not outrageous in hindsight to call that a hoax. Uh, so there's that. Then what about ISIS? Looks like we have the first positive thing happening in ISIS, the biggest problem in the world. What about immigration? Went down 70% just because he said he was going to get tough on people. What about uh, President Trump rounding up all the, the otherwise law-abiding people and sending tens of millions back? Well, that was never real. <laughs> I told everybody two years ago, yes, he is saying that. He's saying it very clearly. He's saying it consistently and clearly, and he doesn't mean it because it's a negotiating position, and he wants to have at least the leverage that he can get rid of the bad apples and, and build his wall. Exactly what happened. How surprised are we? Oh, surprised again that the best negotiator, most famous negotiator in the world, opened with a extreme first offer and then backed off to something that actually was way more than we could have gotten or he could have gotten without doing that first. Exactly like it should have been played. Played it perfectly, right? What other topics you got? Supreme Court nomination? Yeah, you don't like it maybe. Some people don't like it. Is he qualified? Fuck yes. He's really qualified. He's very qualified. Totally qualified. 